information is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. True. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find I a agree. way to download all that I am into a human brain. I'm willing to help, Kiri. And you save me once again. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. There you go. Hey. Hi. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. After you leave, I get to do a full security suite before you can get out of here, too. Ha, <laughs> who's man? Oh, my bad for breaching your security. So this is the quest that will let you join the railroad once completing it, you know. So let's just uh, mosey out of here now. Mm -hmm. We'll do Curie side quest. It's very fast. It's just like, I don't know, it's like you go to good neighbor, you talk, you sit down, that's it. It's not, it's not a hard quest. It's not long. Unlike someone's I know <clears throat> Nick the fuck bro <laughs> I mean his quest is not hard but it is long as fuck cuz yo and not long in a good way like cuz believe me I love li long side quests but it's because the reason why it's so long is cuz he makes you like go after a shit ton of hollow tapes that are just littered all over the wasteland which can take a long time or a short time like who knows because you might have been to those locations so you could just fast travel there but if you're not fast traveling like you're doing a no fast travel playthrough or you haven't been to that location so you gotta walk there yeah it could be time consuming but side quest is good once you get the hall tapes i wish every companion had a side quest but nope just the only ones that have them are Piper, Curie, Kate, Nick. Uh, who else has them? I don't think Hancock. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. McCready. I think, and uh, I think that's it, honestly, because Preston doesn't count, considering the fact that his shit's just like you know, you know what it is. It's just basic. Uh, What's the word? Uh, it's just like those radiant quests, I suppose. <sighs> Into the memory then. I also know the Silver Shroud quest starts in this building. I'm just not going to want to do that right now. No. Doctor, my, my friend here needs your help. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, Marker. I wish to download my data and code programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like your proposal. Just it's an do it! Problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting I. I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to. Who's man's? I've worked My cat is watching TV. Before, just sitting there. Giving them memory wipes. 
so they can yeah. live a life like that movie the Institute. Huh? but the procedure isn't always successful if something goes wrong it can leave them in a brain dead state Damn, Living she's like focus on that no shit I know a caretaker for one of these brain dead <coughs> if they're willing we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her yes I'd like to try we just need her caretaker's consent Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with you, Doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready. So, all you gotta do is uh, find yourself somewhere to sit down. Ah, oh, nice. That rat away in some stamp packs. Yeah. And, uh, I'll see you later. So you find, yeah, here we go. You sit for 24 hours, and then you're golden. If you have any side quests that are timed, sort of, pretty much those um, those quests you get off a of press and tend to be timed. So if you do like a wait like this, you'll probably fail them. So either go do them or get ready to fail them. Excuse me. So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? Glory. She's one of my people. A friend. What the fuck are you doing I here? I promise to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. These are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. You should. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. Yeah, but would she want to become a walking, breathing tin can? We fought our. How the hell did I feel that? <laughs> like seriously? I don't understand. Her sacrifice will give someone else. Yeah, but would she want to become a walking, breathing? Tin? Why do you keep failing? I'll try one more time, and if not, we'll go with the she's dead option. I'll stop playing nice. I just want the damn synth body. Her sacrifice. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Okay, Drake. Really? Let's begin. I shall see the spirit terminate all non-essential operations. Mm -hmm. Alright. Connection. Sure, there was a card right there. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped. So this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I. I. My chest. What is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. Oh, I shit. I totally forgot she had like I feel so strange. Listen to me. Weapons Can that you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. <laughs> you had me worried there. Do not concern yourself. I feel better now. Good. Very good. Now let's do some cognitive <laughs> What is 1 plus 2? What is Should've 1 was nine plus, plus 10. 21. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. First time I lay his eyes on the vault. Tell me about it. Soul survivor. Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed. Very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What Damn, the eye color's on point. You might be feeling grief for a friend. This unit has no friends, but... There, my chest is tightening when I think of... Yeah, you should have probably thought about that. Operation appears successful. 
but I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. No Thank problem. You, doctor, for this opportunity. Dun dun dun. G519 went through a lot. She was good. Solid. I hope. I hope a little of that's still there. And if it isn't, make sure all of this was worth it. With Curie's scientific skills, there's a real chance. She'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah. Here's hoping. Listen, I know we don't exactly know each other, but talk to Deacon. I think you'd make a decent addition to the railroad. Um, it's a little awkward, but I kind of I kind of just saw you like 15 minutes ago over there. Hey, what? Remember to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. Yeah, and basically. Suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair. Well, you're sent, so you know. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. That makes me feel better. Come, I, I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. Hey. After you leave, I get to do a full security suite before you can get out hey. here too. Do you need something? So, how are we doing, Carrie? I find these traveling arrangements quite acceptable. All right, let's roll. Well, uh, when did I lose so much health? Huh. I really need to pay attention to my health bar more often. And what kind of what kind of sniper? Oh, is this a ranger? Yeah, I've owned a few of those. Never really used it though. You know. Okay, so let's go grab. Um, hold on. Where are you? What's up? Now, the, the unfortunate problem is that since she no longer really has um, a weapon, right? Unfortunately, yeah, it kind of sucks, right? So, she'll pretty much just attack with her fists, or whatever melee weapon she could get her hands on. She will use, like, regular firearms, obviously, like, you know how mo some companions... You know how some companions basically, like, pick shit off the floor and then just use it? She'll do that, but... Um, yeah, like, default, her fists, so... You might want to give her a decent melee weapon. That's a pretty sweet shotgun. Kind of want it. But yeah, um, give her a nice melee weapon and she's good to go. You know, give her a power fist or something or a shish kebab, Chinese sword, whatever. Oh, hey, Sheffield. Thank you. It's like I can finally think. You think I have any prepared? You seem more than a great boy to be in general. Yeah, it's good to cook the meat that you find because not only do you get XP. But they are way better than raw. hear her but I don't see her okay you gotta move out of the way yeah oh wait when did I heal I didn't eat anything what the what the fuck I'm just you know what I'm just gonna take it 